Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and because there hasn't been a great deal of transfer news, I thought that I'll, uh, I'll do an episode of Transfer Rumours slash Roundup tomorrow, but during the Euros, there's not going to be too much, so I'm going to stagnate it, and I thought I'd do a Euro Roundup, because the first set of fixtures has just been completed, so every single team in Euro... Uh, 2016 has now played a game now I can do this more frequently if you'd like uh, like after each day because I do watch most if not all of the games I mean I think I've only missed one so far and I can't quite remember which game that was but I've watched every other game and uh, I mean I would say I've been enjoying Euro 2016 it's been all right but it's been a bit underwhelming like no team has uh, scored three yet um, and a lot of teams seem to be sitting 10 men behind the uh, behind the ball, particularly minnows, as you would kind of expect, especially now a lot of third team, uh, third place, can't even say, third place teams will now progress instead of just the top two. So you can understand why teams are doing it, but for the first round of fixtures, there hasn't been too many amazing moments. I mean, we've had Paye's stunner for France, the winner 2-1 uh, against Romania. We had Modric's amazing volley for a cor uh, four. Croatia. We've had a few other amazing things like Jerome Boateng's uh, clearance off the line. I'm trying to think of other great goals. Uh, Bale's free kick was fantastic. Um, and there's been a fair few other moments here and there. But on the whole, it's been a bit underwhelming so far. But uh, the biggest shocks came today. And that was Hungary beating Austria, who I and many others maybe had tipped as kind of a dark horse. Not someone you would expect to win the tournament but would progress a bit further than people thought like a quarter final maybe even manage a semi-final but uh yeah they got beat 2-0 by Hungary and it was a it was a deserved win for Hungary I mean there was that debatable red card with Dragovic uh, where Austria actually scored but then it got uh, pulled for a second yellow card for Dragovic and he got sent off but then Hungary broke and got the second goal and um Won 2-0 and they deserved the three points and uh, that fucked up my bet for today. So I wasn't very happy with that. And uh, then Portugal, again, a little bit of a shock. They drew 1-1 with Iceland, uh, the smallest country in the tournament at the minute. So well done to them. 1-1, fantastic result. Nani scored a, a decent goal. It was a well-played goal by Andre Gomez. But Portugal were just very slow in their build-up. And uh, I felt a bit for Ronaldo. I mean, you can tell how much it uh, means to him. He didn't have the best game, in all honesty. But uh, yeah, he, he still produced some moments. And you can just tell he's just a lot better than a lot of the Portuguese players there. So... Uh, <laughs> Must be frustrating for him, but he didn't have the best game either. And credit to Iceland. I mean, the goal they scored, terrible defending from Portugal. But it's a it's a nice cross in and it's a good finish. So 1-1 one, one for them. In the group that England are in, Wales, fantastic win for them. 2-1. Uh, Aaron Ramsey getting the assist for... Uh, oh my god, it's their number nine, Carnu. Isn't it Robson Carnu? Uh, and all, that was after Bale's free kick. And um, that puts them top So. Very key game on Thursday, Wales versus England. I'll be looking forward to that and I'll do a match review for it as I am doing all match reviews for England games since I'm an England fan. Uh, well, I live there, so, you know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, hopefully Roy Hodgson doesn't, doesn't do what he usually does and kind of is just far too cautious. Like The, the difference between us and Wales, Wales have Bale. They also have a, a competent manager who's actually decent at what he does. Chris Coleman, when well, he's very good. And, uh, yeah, we've got Roy Hodgson, who's very, very cautious. Germany started there, um, well, as world champions, 2-0. They won in their game. And it, it was a very good game, to be fair. Like, it was one of the more entertaining ones. Schweinsteiger came off the bench uh, to score. He had three touches, two passes, and a goal. So, uh, for, a, for as a Man United fan, very, very happy with that. Ozil got a fantastic assist, as uh, Arsenal fans let everyone know on Twitter. Poland... They they annihilated Northern Ireland, but credit to Northern Ireland, their defending was immense, and they only lost 1-0 thanks to a Milik goal. Robin Lewandowski was kept relatively quiet. Um, bit of a similar story with uh, Sweden, who drew their game against Republic of Ireland. 1-1 uh, in that game, Hulhan scored, and then Ibra set up the own goal for, uh, was it Cathcart? to uh, head in to his own goal. But yeah, Ibra was kept relatively quiet. And uh, this is what's been happening when nations ha are carried, basically, by one 
players. So you've got Poland with Lewandowski, you've got Sweden with uh, Ibrahimovic, Portugal with Ronaldo, uh, Wales with Bale. Uh, apart from Bale, the other three have been kept relatively quiet. So uh, it's one round in, of course, and a lot can happen in the later stages but overall underwhelming but the biggest game the most entertaining game for me and one of the most surprising ones was Italy 2-0 against Belgium fully deserved Belgium were terrible played like a bunch of individuals that um, have talent but no cohesion within their team and uh, you could see that and Italy were just a well-armed machine like well-oiled they were well drilled they were fantastic they honestly they deserved their win and they won 2 0. It was a bit of a similar story to the Germany game in terms of how the goal, well, I mean, when the goal was scored, it was 1 0. Then the 93rd minute, 2 0. And uh, they were the only two games that have uh, had a, oh no, because of uh, Hungary as well, which had another late goal, I suppose. So the three games that have finished 2 0 have uh, had late goals. So it, it's lacking a bit of goals. So maybe that can come in the, the second round of fixtures. But overall, there's been a few shocks, there's been a few great moments, but I'm just hoping there's a lot more goals to come. Now that, you know, teams have to, especially teams that have lost, they're going to have to, instead of being defensive, they're going to have to go for it a bit more. So maybe we'll see a few more openings. But uh, overall, let me know what you think of Euros, uh, how your team's doing. And uh, as I say, transfer rumours will be uh, tomorrow a video episode 7 or 8 I can't remember it'll be on my channel anyway and uh, finally I'm growing in subs so I might actually hit 10k subs when I do my flat tour uh, if not I'll still do the flat tour but I'm getting towards it 300 subs off roughly so uh, hopefully I can hit that nice five digit market market marker oh my god anyway I'm just gonna end the video so hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace